I get a script or a storyline and have to basically, uh, basically cast cars for characters. It's definitely important because you want to have the best parts you can possibly put on the car. It's not so much about uh, so much a brand name, but just the best part. In this case, that would be Brembo. Uh, for our brakes, and that's a company that I've used for the last 20 years on various projects, race cars and everything else. And uh, they were nice enough to come in and help us out and give us a, an amazing brake package. You watch the movie and think, wow, that's a cool car. But what you don't know is there's actually, in this case, be, we'll be building nine Dodge Daytonas to represent one car that you see on the screen. So I think that's one of the biggest things that people don't realize is the actual quantity of cars. Uh, on the last movie, we went through 340 some vehicles, you know, to do Fast Five. I mean, you have to outdo the last one every time. So, you know, I'm expecting, you know, a lot of carnage and a lot of vehicle destruction on this one. We were asked to design a brake system for uh, Vin Diesel's Daytona for the Fast and Furious 6 movie. So the transportation team had a number of different requirements that they needed for that. So we used a 72 vein wide annulus racing rotor for that along with our six piston monoblock caliper. And in the back is where the system really was kind of special and deviated from what we ordinarily do. There's actually two calipers used per wheel on the rear axle. And that was done in order to do the stunts, drifting, that sort of thing. You know, back, back in the old days, you know, stunt guys would just use an e-brake and they'd slide the car around and do what they had to do. The reality is in a movie like this, after 30 takes, that e-brake's not gonna, it's not gonna hold up. So we actually put a Brembo, you know, performance brake system on it that has its own hydraulic handle or foot pedal. This just depends on stuntman's preference. And, uh, you know, it'll go through the whole show without any maintenance whatsoever. Today we're out here at Willow Springs Raceway to uh, test a few of our Fast and Furious 6 picture cars. Uh, we have the uh, twin steer flip cars, we have our 1970 Dodge Daytonas, our Jensen Interceptors, and basically just want to see uh, how they're all going to perform. We want to put them through the paces, abuse them as much as possible to make sure when they get to the UK and are on film, there won't be any problems. Brakes were perfect, not one brake issue whatsoever. Yeah, brakes were, uh, like I said, the brakes stopped the car quicker than it needs to be, so uh, no complaints in that area whatsoever. And what I'm always proud of in these movies is pretty much everything you see on film is actually happening. Um, there's always some CG that helps, you know, backgrounds or the environment, maybe hide some safety cables or safety devices, but what the cars are doing is absolutely real, and uh, I love being on set and seeing the cars perform and do their job. And then to see that, you know, the finished product on the screen is, you know, very rewarding at the end of the day.